A few days ago, I made sure that the space behind me would be able to accommodate a 100-inch laser TV. I needed to do some minor adjustments in my office layout because I know that this TV deserves a better and more organized space. A few days later, Hisense installed the Hisense 100L1E 4K UHD laser TV and without exaggeration, I watched a couple of episodes of Startup and played a bunch of 4K K-pop videos on loop. What else? You're about to find out in this video. Before we get started, I'd like to inform you that this video is sponsored by Hisense, a premium global TV brand that has been operating for over 50 years. It took Hisense around 15 minutes to install this laser TV. Normally, when you buy this, it does not include the branded base you're seeing in the time-lapse video. The base you're seeing is just for demo or showcase purposes. Optimizing and aligning it properly was quite a breeze too. As you can see, the laser TV projects to an ambient light rejecting screen which allows you to watch even though it is bright. The way it was explained to me is that it has downward serration microtexture which helps it block whatever light that is bouncing off from sides and top of the screen. Now, what makes this laser TV really interesting? There's a lot of things to cover here, but to start things off, it's very much similar to the concept of a projector or the technology they use for IMAX cinemas. It projects the image with a maximum resolution of 3840 by 2160 with 60 Hz refresh rate to this ambient light rejecting screen. The laser light projector, which they call X-Fusion, can deliver up to 3,000 lumens and because it uses dual color lasers, blue and red to be exact, it can achieve over 1.07 billion number of colors, which is better than most TVs out in the market. Inside this box is what actually powers this laser TV. It is HDR compatible with over 8 million pixels and with the color space of DCI P3. Now, I did mention that it uses laser light to project images and you might wonder, aren't lasers harmful? The lasers they use in the console is type 2, which is safe for home usage. As additional precaution, the Hisense 4K UHD laser TV has a safety protocol that when you get near to the sensors, it will temporarily disable projecting until you get out of the way. Now, while this is happening, you can still hear the sound from the speakers. This, however, can be turned off and on in the settings. I am very much impressed with the picture quality. In fact, you would initially think that this is a frameless TV without any projection technology. It is only when you look at this projector, you would realize that this picture is being projected to the screen. The anti-light projecting screen does not need electricity for it to work since the console projects the image onto the screen. Now, even though the screen is 100 inch, it is very light. You won't have a problem transferring the whole setup into another room if you want to. There are a number of ways to enjoy this 4K UHD laser TV by Hisense. For starters, this laser TV is also a smart TV running on Hisense's proprietary OS, a Linux-based operating system called VidaU. It already has all the necessary software features that will allow you to access your favorite contents from various providers like YouTube, Netflix, and a lot more. You can also mirror whatever is on your compatible smartphone. In my case, I was able to connect my Galaxy Z Fold 2 to the Hisense's 4K laser TV by simply connecting both devices to one network. A simple tap of quick share on my smartphone allowed me to mirror it to the TV. You also get this special and premium looking remote with dedicated Netflix and YouTube buttons. Apart from this, I needed to make sure that I can play my favorite PS4 Pro and PC games on this laser TV. I know that this is a bit overkill, but I really wanted to maximize it to bring myself to a whole new world of cinematic gameplay experience. PS4 games like Spider-Man and Ghost of Tsushima with HDR enabled really look great on this laser TV. You can also connect this to the upcoming PlayStation 5, but you have to make sure or take note that this laser TV does not have HDMI 2.1 input, which opens you to more graphical settings. This is not a showstopper though because this device in the first place can go up to 4K 60fps. If you want to be able to enjoy the upcoming PlayStation 5's features, I'm pretty sure that Hisense will or already have UHD TVs with HDMI 2.1 input in the market. I also played some of my favorite PC games in 4K like Watch Dogs Legion and Microsoft Flight Simulator. Since I've got the latest RTX 3000 series, I'm able to enjoy playing AAA titles with ray tracing contents. 
So yes, having this does not stop you from enjoying your PC games. The only thing that you have to be mindful of is the combined electricity consumption of the laser TV and the gaming console or PC you're going to use. This laser TV also comes with a premium Harman Kardon speaker set. By speaker set, I'm speaking of 14 speakers embedded in the console and a separate wireless subwoofer connected via Bluetooth. You can never go wrong with Harman Kardon. The sound is crisp, immersive, and clear. Now let's talk about its price and to whom I think this is positioned. This costs 745,000 pesos. This is really intended for those who want to put up their own private cinema or for those who are really serious about their audiovisual collection. This is now available in selected appliance stores nationwide. If you want to get more information, you can check out Hisense website at hisense.com.ph. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, this is the best time to do so. If you want more videos like this, it would be great if you can click the notification bell as well. That's it for now, guys. This has been Gian. Thank you for watching.